welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by today's title, I'm going to be doing a big, massive collective haul for spring 2022. If you're new, my name is Riza. I do mainly fashion videos, but I also like doing lifestyle videos. So if you guys like seeing that, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video. And also come visit me on TikTok and Instagram and Pinterest and Snapchat. Collective hauls are definitely like one of my favorites because you know, these are all like pieces that I bought with my own money. This is not a collaboration. This is not sponsored. These are all my genuine opinions on each piece. So some brands you might recognize and some brands might be new. I will try to link everything that may be available. I'm sorry in advance if there might be some pieces that might have sold out. But I think that since I attained these pieces fairly recently, maybe over the last like month or two, they should still be available. So I will try to the best of my ability to get those links for you if you're interested in any of these pieces. And let's get started. The first top is from a designer called Sandy Lang. They have a boutique in New York, but unfortunately I'm not there right now. So I couldn't wait to get this top in person because one of the things about the brand that I'm like, well, that kind of sucks is that they actually don't have any returns available. Like they don't do refunds. So I was like, oh, I'm taking a risk here, but I'm glad I did. It was a nice calculated risk because this is one of my favorite tops ever. I like cutouts. I think that since they've been super popular for, I don't know, maybe like the last like two years, they've sort of gotten more intricate and unique. And this definitely spoke to me. Just a little bit about the top. So it is this really adorable point tail detail. This is my favorite part of the entire top. This is what sold me. I actually saw it on my friend's stories on Instagram and I was obsessed the moment that I saw it. If you guys haven't seen my previous video that talked about all of the upcoming aesthetics and trends that we're going to see for spring and summer, then make sure you check that out because it really goes in depth with the type of styles that I'm going to be attaining for my spring and summer wardrobe. And if any of that resonates with you, then you totally want to go check out that video. And this is just like the perfect balance of coquette, street style, ballet core, pajama wear. I will literally wear this to bed if I could. I'll also include like the sizes that I pick up because there are some pieces here that I might have sized down or up, so I'll definitely specify. This I got in my true size, which was an extra small because I wanted it to fit very nice and fitted and it did just that. It's the perfect fit. I like to wear it either cropped or tucked in like I have with these pants. Next, I'm going to be talking about some accessories. So I just have like one new jewelry piece that I've been loving. So very quickly, I have this adorable 777 necklace. As you know, I am a gold girl to the death. That is all in jewelry accessories. I don't really wear anything else besides my staple jewelry pieces. So Case in point, will always be gold. Next in accessories, I designed a tote, guys. Like, <laughs> I've always wanted to have a custom tote bag. So the brand is me. The next brand is me, shameless plug. So the name of the brand is called 95 Disco Drive. I will talk a little more about why I came up with that name specifically and why it spoke to me and why I am so in love with it. And you guys will just have to see on the Instagram page, on 95 Disco Drive Instagram page for updates, for launch dates. And this is just going to be the first launch TBD. It's going to be this adorable little tote bag. It is made out of 100% recycled hemp and the more that you wash it the softer it is going to get this is just my first sample so it's not going to be the official one that you guys will eventually be able to shop and get one for yourself but i just thought this is just like a little dream come true a little dream come true definitely stay tuned for more info on that as i get closer to a launch date it's gonna be so fun last in accessories is this cute little hat that i purchased from aritzia like two days ago or something, we were in the store and I saw this. I saw it in white on their website and I was like, oh, it's cute, it's cute. I think I'm gonna order it, but then I saw it in green and I was like, oh, she cute, she cute. And that's all really in accessories. I don't really get accessories, although I do want to get more because I've always loved how it would elevate an outfit and make it more like you, like make it more like personalized and everything, so. 
All right, if you guys don't know Danielle Guzio, Danielle Guzio is, she gets it. I don't know why I haven't attained something from her brand sooner, but it's perfect, literally perfect. I am obsessed with this top. You guys can see a theme going on here. We like the feminine, edgy look. And this just plays with the princess core, cottage core, baggy ness okay? And I am just so in love with this top. It has the adorable ties at the neck and at the little chest area so you can give a little like cleavage action. Really cute. Of course, I just like wearing, it's like jeans and a nice top. Like it's a new version of jeans and a nice top. That is in Daniel Guzio. I picked out an extra small in that top and it fits perfectly for me. So depending on what your size is, I would just say personally true to size. Next, I picked out a top from Mayfair, another piece that I saw in my friend's story. So if you guys haven't heard of Mayfair group, they have this really cute merch line. They have like so much more obviously and this is actually like my first piece from them besides the 437 Mayfair collaboration that they did. But this I picked out for myself because it's just so cute. Like it has like the little like be nice graphic. I, as you guys know, I love baby tees. I love aesthetic graphic tees, which I'll show you in a minute. And I also picked out an extra small in this. I think it's so cute for the pajama core suburban trend prediction. I think it's gonna be so cute. I would wear this to a slumber party. I would wear this the way that I styled it on my Instagram. So you guys can go check that out for yourself. I've already styled a lot of these pieces so far. So if you wanna see like any examples of outfits that you can wear with any of these pieces, it's likely already on my Instagram. Or you could just wait to see it in the try on portion. I'll also do a spring lookbook for my next video. So just comment below what you want to see specifically. If you have any requests, I am open to all of them. Next. One of the most exciting pieces that I picked up for this haul. Oh, if you guys don't know Poster Girl, they are just iconic. Let me tell you about Poster Girl. She is a dream. Honestly, I think if Poster Girl was a brand back then, I would have been too scared to wear these things. I'm certainly happy that Poster Girl exists at this point in time because I don't know if I would have had the courage to wear this stuff back then. But now that I do, I'm like, this is everything amazing. She's a legend, she's an icon, and she is the moment, okay? Like, I love this bodysuit. It has so many cool details to it. It's kind of funny because the collar reminds me of like those little like styrofoam protector cover things that they put on fruit. But I don't care. My neck can be protected from fruit flies. Just everything in the details is just so immaculate to me. Like the cute little rhinestones. They're kind of iridescent when they hit the sunlight. So love that. Picked it out in my true size and it is perfect. I usually will just wear nipple stickies because it is a little see-through, but it's okay. We could work with it. There's nipple stickies. We're good. We're good. Next, like I was talking about before with pajama core, suburban aesthetic, anime aesthetic, this top. Holy crap. So cute. I love it. It makes me want to go to a basketball court or a tennis court at sunset and take photos and just like chill on the ground with my friends and like have slumber parties, go to diners, do like late night target runs and everything. Just romanticizing the nuances <laughs> of life in this top. I love oversized graphic tees. The colors just spoke to me. They're all of my favorite colors with pastel and like a nice little like cream background. Mwah. Chef's Kiss, and this is from Mariposa Vintage. I wanted it to fit oversized, so I believe, I don't see a size on here. So it's not on here, but I believe that I picked out a medium. Next is from Abercrombie. I have not shopped from Abercrombie in, it's just been a time, but I was influenced by TikTok to check out their jeans. I saw that they had a low rise jean and I am in love with this type of light wash. Like you won't see me in dark wash jeans. I think I only have like one pair of dark wash jeans and I just don't really wear them. Most times I reach for light wash jeans and these were perfect. I have low rise jeans, but they're definitely more like a baggy vibe. And this I wanted to be like a little more fitted, like a mom jean or like a straight leg jean. And that's exactly what these were, except low waisted. And I am obsessed with them. I've already styled them so much on my Instagram page. So I've been getting so much use out of it. They're just 
the perfect low rise jean. Like TikTok got it right. TikTok did get it right. Another one of my best investments was this Mirror Palais top. It's their corset cover. I was a little disappointed because I did want to get this top in the pistachio color, but it was like sold out. Once Mirror Palais has a new launch, they sell out in like minutes. So you gotta be fast <laughs> with Mirapolay, but it's so worth it because this is just like the quintessential like Parisian, French, baddie, romance, like old money aesthetic, flowy, sheer top, and I am obsessed with her. I wore her all over New York for Winter Fashion Week and just in general like everyday life. So I'm getting the return on my investment for sure with this top if ever I choose to sell it, which... I don't have any immediate plans. Like, this is my baby. No one gets this. And I will get the return on my investment that way. But right now, I'm just getting so much use out of it that I'm like, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. No buyer's remorse here. Okay. Next, on to the brands that I actually picked out several pieces. We're going to do Urban Outfitters first. So. I haven't been shopping from Urban in quite a while. I feel like I find more things online than I do in store. Saw this micro skirt. What's great about this skirt specifically is that it is a skirt. Like it has like built in, you can't really see it. You'll see it in the try-on portion. It has built in shorts in it. I picked this out in a size small and it also has like a cute little like slit on it. It's kind of like I'm a cute little coffee waitress and I'm gonna bring you coffee and pursue my career in acting, that type of thing. So I was, it, it was a whole story. It was a whole character with this skirt and I loved it. It worked out. <laughs> Cause sometimes with Urban it doesn't work. And then I tried this on in store. This is the other piece that I was telling you about with this top that I had a vision for. So cute, I love it. It's so sweet! And this I picked out in an extra small. I love to wear it for my admin days. I thought that this was so cute. I've been meaning to look for overalls like this that were like a nice cream material. You guys see the try on portion how I wear it with this top and it's just like edgy, cute. It's kind of the painter aesthetic that I predicted. Which leads me into another top that I picked out from Urban Outfitters which is just like this plain like white tee. I wear it to bed. I wear it to work. I love the slouchiness. I picked it out in a size small. I honestly could have gone even more oversized, but you know what? I wore it. I'm happy with it. And that's just how it is. All right. So that's all from Urban. Next, we're going to go on to Ritzia. I was in the store a couple of days ago and I mentioned the hat. I got this all at the same time. And this bralette I thought was so cute. Like I can't wait to style it with maybe like some elevated sweatpants and a button down. I feel like that would be really cute and very relaxed. Also getting away with wearing a bra and I'm like, I love that, <laughs> here for it. And I already have this top, but in black. And I didn't know that they had it in this really beautiful like sky blue color, so pretty. So I picked this out. They only had an extra, extra small available, but I don't have any boobs, so I got away with it. But I feel like I would have gone with like an extra small or a small actually, just so there could be like more covering, but I'll make it work. It's fine. And then next, I've been actually looking for a top like this. Their Babaton Contour line. They have so many different styles of tops that are in the same material and they have a bunch of different colors. You guys can check it out on Aritzia's website. They literally have so many options for this and I love it because like it says, it's a contour line. So it's sort of like a shapewear and it like really just like fits to your frame and just complements all of your curves and all the good things. So I picked out an extra small in this one. Super cute. I picked it out in like a light tan color. I feel like this could look really cute with like a tennis skirt, button down or a sweatshirt, sweatshorts, sweatpants, jeans, all of it. Like even cargo pants. So that is all from Aritzia. Next I picked out some pieces from Free People when I was at the mall and I just picked out this basic tube top. Thought it was super cute. And there's not really much to say about that. I think this was in an extra small. And as I was talking about in my trends video with tube tops and how they are styled. So I feel like that's going to be a big staple in everyone's spring and summer wardrobe. Next and last one from Free People is this 
sage mesh top. I am obsessed with sage. I feel like it's been a very trendy color for a while and I just didn't really find any pieces that really spoke to me but this year, this year is turning around. It's turning around. So I picked this out in an extra small I think. Yeah extra small love this i think i actually styled this in one of my recent tiktoks with the urban outfitters micro skirt and it looked really cute like with some sunglasses if it's still a little chilly outside you could wear like combat boots or like knee length boots with it and it will just look so 90s model off duty that was the vision that i got for this top specifically last brand that i will be talking about is lululemon i love lululemon for all their basics i think i only wear lululemon and Aritzia's butter leggings for all of my workout outfits so since it's finally or at least we're really close to biker short season i just picked out these biker shorts and they are a very nice dark navy color you can't really see yes yeah you can totally see that so it's a really pretty navy blue something that's really trending right now like people are getting into blue we love it so i picked out a size two for my shorts i think that they're pretty true to size and then i also picked out some tops this one i love these types of tops that have the built-in bra i usually am a size two but they only had a size four and it actually fits fine for me so like if you go into Lululemon and you don't see your size, but they have like a size up. I feel like you could kind of get away with it. So just hot tip. Love this. I don't know exactly what the item name is, but I just really enjoyed it. And I feel like it looks very cute. It could also be worn as like an athleisure outfit. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a workout outfit for this top. I would definitely wear it as like a lounge or like errand outfit. And it just looks very simple, nice and put together. It has a very nice, dainty, feminine silhouette. So, one of my favorite things. Last piece from Lululemon is just this V-neck. It's like a V-neck scoop neck top. And it has a nice little open back. It's very ballet core or like rehearsal wear core. I could also see it as like an old money aesthetic piece where you would wear it with a tennis skirt or some lounge shorts and a lounge sweatshirt just draped over your shoulders. It could just be something very simple if you wanted to put like your hair back in a slip back bun. Clean girl aesthetic has got it going for you. So nothing much to say about the Lululemon pieces. They're just really great basics that I think is totally worth the investment. And this I picked out in a size two. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoy this collective haul. If you guys want to see more pieces that I attain because I'm still waiting for some things in the mail, you could totally comment below and request a part two because I'm kind of considering it. So let me know if you guys want to see that or we could just go right into a spring lookbook because I have so many outfit ideas so many outfit combinations with these pieces alone so if you guys are super excited to see that first then just comment below and tell me what you think if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment below on what your favorite piece was what you're most excited about getting into for the spring and summer season and also make sure that you come see me on instagram and tiktok because it is very likely by the time that this video is live that i pretty much styled all of these pieces so if you guys want to see examples of how I style them then of course head over there you could also come visit me on TikTok where I do mini lookbooks and you guys will be able to see how I am able to combine all of these aesthetics into one collective look and hopefully give you some inspiration for your own spring and summer style so I really hope that this video was helpful and gave you some inspiration and I will see you in my next video bye Thinking of you